Hey there everybody, this is Lee with Creative Two Time Mom and today I'm going to be talking about some of our favorite family board games. So I've written several blog posts about favorite preschooler games, but I really wanted to share with you some of our favorite games that we play as a family. We have a wide range of ages and interests in this house. I have a 10 year old all the way down to a four year old. So it's sometimes a challenge to find something that they'll both enjoy. So I pulled some of our favorite games that we love to play as a family. Now when I was thinking about this video, I thought, oh, easy. We have tons of games in this house. And that's where the problem came in. We have so many games, it was hard to narrow it down to some of our favorites. So I'm going to kind of go through these, it's probably starting with the youngest and then moving our way up throughout maybe more family oriented type games. So the first one, you can tell this is really well loved, right? We have a memory game. In fact, as I'm going through our game closet, we actually have one, two, three, four, five different memory sets. This one is the Toy Story, there's Zerg, we've got the Martians, Bullseye, Woody, Jesse. I love using memory games. These are a great logic skill and really good for that younger preschool set, just early elementary, like early, early elementary. My four-year-old loves playing memory. In fact, he's kind of a goofball, so he likes to pretend like he doesn't know where something is. He'll try to fake you out, and then he always figures it out. We love these. And really, you can use these for a whole range of ages because two of the sets that we have are called challenge memory. One of them is uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and one of them is Disney Parks. So if you can remember specifically the Disney Parks one, if you can remember different parts of your park, if you can remember what those matches are, you get extra points. Or if you steal from somebody else, you get one of their matches, you might not get as many points, but if you get one of your special challenge ones, you get extra points. It's this whole thing. And all of my kids, I think memory has completely changed the way they think because they all started out with memory games and they can all kick my butt at these games. They're super smart. It's just got their brains constantly thinking and memorizing stuff. So memory is a great one for the younger set. Moving on up. I don't even know if I can pick up this box without losing pieces because this is how well loved this game is. We have Monopoly and this is kind of an early elementary game in our home. This is how Noah learned how to add because we constantly had him adding the dice. This is how he learned how to count moving around the board. When I would roll, I would have him count my dice. When he would roll, I would have him count his dice. As early as five years old, we were using this game for addition. We were using it for money. We were using it for logic. Um, we were using it for remembering what sets you have because if you've played Monopoly, if you get a certain color set, you can start adding houses. The whole thing, I have not been able to beat Noah at memory, or sorry, Monopoly for several, several years. And this Disney edition is a lot of fun. As you can see, it is well loved in our house. Another one for kind of the other set, just lost all my cards. This says seven and up, but we start Uno in our house probably around five or six years old. Uno is a great one because it keeps them thinking about numbers, colors, skip. Again, my four-year-old is playing Uno right now. His favorite card, because he's a joker, his favorite card in the set is the skip. He thinks it's the funniest thing in the world. This is a good one for a variety of ages. He can start playing it all the way on up to my husband and I don't get bored with this one. That's a lot of fun. After Uno, we start adding in things like Phase 10. Again, well loved. It's in a bag because the box is so tore up. This is one is a lot of fun. It kind of goes along the idea of running. You've got to get sets and runs in different colors or different sets of numbers. Lydia's under the tripod. Don't bump, please. Um, so Phase 10, if you've not checked it out, it's super cheap. It hangs with like the Uno cards in Target and Walmart. It's not very expensive. It's about five dollars and it will constantly keep your brain going. This one I enjoy and yet 
it makes me want to kind of go crazy. Sometimes this can turn into a two or three day game. We started this uh, last, I don't know, last week, and then it turned into a seven day game because it was going on and on. Kind of like an awkward. <laughs> Be prepared for that one. Yahtzee, this is another good one. We use this one for adding, we use it for multiplication. We use this one to just have fun. All of us really enjoy it. A little bit of a challenge for my four-year-old. If we are playing Yahtzee, he plays in what we call a team, so he'll play with me or his dad. But we really like this one. I have two left. Sequence. Sequence is another card game. It's not one that I see very often. I've had this one for probably about 20 years, but I know you can order them online. It's a board game and all of the cards, like in a deck of playing cards, are laid out on the board game. Well, they're randomly laid out. So you're trying to get a sequence of five with the cards that you have in your hand. There is some free spaces, there is some wild cards, there's some cards that um, if you get a one-eyed jack, you can take off your opponent's chips, so you're playing with chips to create sequences of five. This one's a lot of fun. Again, a challenge for the younger guy, but fun for the rest of us. And Moncala. Lydia got this for Easter, which was about two weeks ago, and she is already a Moncala shark. We cannot beat her. She loves this game. And it's one of those games, much like Chesser Checkers, where you can... It's ideally meant to play against somebody, but you can also play against yourself. And I think that's how she's become so good at this game. She plays against herself constantly so none of us can beat her. Am I right? And she loves it. So I think that gives you probably about seven or eight different ideas of family game night. I know a lot of these are classics. Of course, the Yahtzee has been around forever. Same thing with Uno. Phase 10, Monopoly, a lot of these are classics, and they really are classics for a reason. We use them in our homeschool to teach so many different areas of math and logic and just reasoning, and that's why these games have really stood the test of time, and that's why they're favorites in our house as well. So leave me a comment down below. Let me know, what are you playing with your kids? What are some of your favorite um, games for family game night? I'm always checking out new games. And hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. We'd love to have you follow along in our journey. Talk to you later.